In this video, we will be laying out the simple box on sheet metal. If I take a look at the original drawing, I can see that I need two different pieces of sheet metal. The first piece measures five inches by five inches. The second piece measures four and one eighth inches by four and one eighth inches. I have cut my first piece of sheet metal to five by five. And if I take a look back at the original drawing, I can see that each corner that I need to lay out is one inch by one inch. So I'm going to be putting a couple different marks on my sheet metal. I'm putting one at one inches in from each side on both the bottom and the top. I'm going to do that same process on the left and right side. I'm adding these reference marks so that I can draw lines going across my sheet metal and I can ensure that my lines will be parallel to the edge of my sheet metal. It's important that these are as accurate as we can possibly get them. This sheet metal box has fairly tight tolerances if you want it to fit together correctly. Looking at my original drawing, I also want to indicate my fold lines as well as my order of operation so that I know what to cut and what to fold. The object lines around our object should be dark and bold. Our fold operational lines should be dashed. So I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add my dashed lines on more complex sheet metal projects it is very important to differentiate the object lines and the fold operational lines so that you don't get confused when you're building it. I'm also going to number my process for folding it. At this point, my first piece is laid out. Looking back at the original drawing, my second piece measures four and one eighth by four and one eighth. Each corner measures a half inch by a half inch. So I'm going to follow the same procedures that I did with my first piece. And I'm going to mark a half inch in multiple locations. These reference lines will then help me lay out all of my object lines. I will connect together those reference points. I'm going to be adding in my dashed lines at the same time. And again, we want to differentiate our object lines from our folding operational lines. Numbering those dashed operational lines will help make sure I don't screw things up and get confused on what operation needs to be done first. At this point, both of our sheet metal pieces for the simple box have been laid out.